Friends, welcome to another glorious episode of Prince I Pal Science. I am so excited. I got a great demonstration. You are going to love it. It's so much fun. And well, you know what? We need a lot more fun in our life. So enjoy this episode of Prince I Pal Science. Hi, friends, Prince I Pal here. Working on your mindset. I want you to do this today. Be the reason someone smiles today. Okay, I'm going to give you a little something here. You've already been the reason once why someone smiled today because you made me smile. When I think about you, friends, I smile. But I want you to be the reason someone else other than your buddy Prince iPal smiles today. Be the reason someone smiles today. That may be because you smile to them, you tell your mom you love her, you give someone a hug, um, you do something nice from someone, you give someone a good memory, all right? Help us out with that. So, be the reason someone smiles today. All right, Prince iPal, with your mindset. On this day in 1958, the discovery of the powerful Van Allen radiation belts that surround Earth was published in the Washington Evening Star. The article covered the report made by their discoverer, James Van Allen, to the Joint Symposium of the National Academy of Sciences. So on this day, we learned all about the Van Allen radiation belts. Well, on this day in 1958, that is. Scientist of the day is Willard Gibbs. Willard Gibbs lived from 1839 to 1903, and he invented vector analysis and founded the science of modern statistical mechanics and chemical thermodynamics. Our scientist of the day is Willard Gibbs. Scientists say decibel. This is a measurement that describes the loudness of sounds in the range audible to the human ear. The scale starts at zero decibels, which is about the quietest sound an ear can pick up. As values on the decibel scale increase, their loudness increases by multiples of 10. 20 decibels is 10 times louder than 10 decibels, 30 decibels is 100 times louder than 10, and 40 decibels is 1,000 times louder. A typical conversation is around 60 decibels, and a rock concert would be closer to 120 decibels. Much louder than that, and you'd start to feel pain. There's an alligator under my bed. Well, clearly there is. I used to be afraid of everything in my closet and everything under my bed when I was little. True story. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he hid or something. So I call mom and dad, but they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about the alligator under my bed. So I went to the kitchen to get some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things alligators like to eat. I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. I put cookies down the hall. I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. I put soda and some candy next to my bed. Then I watched and waited. Okay, don't, don't waste food like this. That wouldn't be good. Sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet and followed him down the stairs. I guess he went through that. I followed him down the hall. When he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. Then I went to bed. There wasn't any mess to clean up. I'll just leave him a note. So I guess mom and dad wouldn't be too happy if he ate all the food. Hmm. All right, so there's an alligator under my bed. All right, all right friends. Principal science here. Yesterday, I showed you how air can do work with air pressure and shot a rocket. I have some air-powered cars that I would like to demonstrate. So check this Friends. out. Air doing work. So I have my car 
in my balloon. I'll blow the balloon up, and then the air is going to come out right here and make the car roll forward. So let me blow it up. Okay. Get the car ready. And look at that. Air doing work. All right, so there's another principle science, science, principle, air doing work, air. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed this glorious episode of Prince I Pal Science. It's great seeing you today. I will see you tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.